same skills. I don't. I want to get another $5 from you. Well, I've been losing all night, so at this rate, I owe you my next paycheck. Whatever. This is chump change for you. <laughs> chump change? I'm not rich, Devin, but I am good. Stack it up. <laughs> nice job. Don't keep this up. I have an Amazon cart full of books I want to buy. You are uh, enjoying your raise, right? <sighs> yeah, parts of it. You know, it's only been a few days since I received the raise, and already he has me doing the bulk of his work. It's like I'm the diversity coordinator without the title or the pay. You know, this is exactly what I knew would happen when they gave me his job. It's like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's like I do all the work, he doesn't know what he's doing anymore, and he gets all the credit for it. Sounds like a boss, which is exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> I am owning you in this game! Oh! Uh, so, what is Mr. Chad doing while you're running things? I don't know. He says he's off working on an independent project. <laughs> Which, I don't know what it could be, though. There's no room in the budget for anything new. I should know. I'm doing the accounting now, too. Well, you knew this raise would not come without strings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to talk about strings? Chad sends me an email every five minutes. Lane, write this proposal. Lane, create this flyer. Lane, I need you to meet with the board. Pick up my niece from soccer practice. Respond to this reporter. You know, I hate the notification sound on my phone. Sounds makes me feel like a puppet. And I am the puppet master. Ha! It's another win for Devin. Ah! You want some more tea? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. you know, this is a good idea. Just a nice night of games without whiskey. My phone is on Do Not Disturb. And this tea is amazing. Thanks for coming over. No, I haven't had much of a, much of a social life since I took this job. I swear, if this keeps up, I won't have any friends or family besides Isabel. And where is Isabel? I'm surprised not to see her close by since your new engagement. <coughs> um, she's at her mom's house tonight. Mm -hmm. Something about a ritual mother-daughter spa sleepover. I'm just glad she never asks me to come. And just to be clear, I'm not really engaged. Really? You should tell your fiance that. <laughs> um, she hired me today to write her wedding vows and yours. So, we better start brainstorming what you want to say before I leave here. Stop teasing me, Devin. I'm not teasing you. She signed a contract earlier today. <laughs> According to her, this wedding is happening. So you owe me $300. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Pay me $5 for this game you just lost, and I require 50% down for my vow writing services. I meant about this wedding. Can't get married anytime soon. Then why did you propose? I didn't. Really? At least I didn't think I did. I said I would consider it. <laughs> well, the message got misconstrued somewhere between I love you and married. And what is this Vera Wang shrine doing on the counter? Uh, that's my homework Isabella assigned me. I'm supposed to circle everything quasi-virginal, sexy or couture, which, honestly, I'm struggling to identify what couture is or quasi-virginal. Well, tell her the truth or buy now. <laughs> or are you more of a tux woman? Neither. More of an I'm not ready to get married woman. I haven't even been in a relationship longer than a couple of years. I can't imagine committing my entire life. I, I don't even have a ring. Um, Isabel doesn't seem to be one for semantics, and she has very particular taste, so I'm sure she doesn't mind buying her own ring. But 
Really, if you love her, what is the big deal? I don't know. I mean, it's marriage. <laughs> What's not a big deal? You know, I just, I just don't know what to do anymore. I mean, I could be thinking that Isabel is the one, and then I could meet the one. If there is a one. Do you think there is? I don't know. I don't know, you know, I used to think there might be many ones. Does that make me horrible? Oh, God, I shouldn't even be in a relationship, right? Are you sure you're monogamous? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> you know, I am sick of the stigma. I fucked two people in a bathroom and now I'm laying the rabbit and I can't control myself. <laughs> I'm not cheating on Isabel. Of course I'm monogamous. What else would I be? Non-monogamous? Isn't that just what people say when they want to haul pass? I told you. <laughs> I'm not cheating. No! And a haul pass is just a consensual agreement. Being non-monogamous is just about communicating what your needs are. It's not about cheating or not cheating. Well, I don't think anyone has had a successful, a successful relationship after saying they don't want to be monogamous. What the hell are you talking about? Do you know how many politicians are poly? Politicians are also liars. <laughs> there is a huge poly community here, and not all of them, but some of them are not liars. You should really get to know some of them. Even as a friend, you might get a new perspective. Yeah, well, I'm not hanging out with any of those weirdos. They're just another wave of polygamists disguised as hipsters trying to act like they have nothing to do with the Warren Jeff compound. <laughs> I don't need no sister wives drama. Besides, don't they all just sleep with each other? Sounds like a cesspool of sexual transmitted to say, hey. I really can't uh, believe you right now. Well, come on. I mean, don't you think it's a little weird? Uh, all the way wrong. OK, the key word is amory. Amore? You know, it's not about sex all the time. I mean, it can be, but that's not the end all be all. <laughs> Some people can manage multiple love relationships. Polyamory is not the same as polygamy. <laughs> well, I haven't been one for semantics either. <sighs> polygamy is based in marriage and religion. Polyamory isn't confined by that. It's whatever you and Bay or the Bays decide the situation is. <laughs> okay, so who is supposed to run this meeting of the so-called bays? Am I the speaker of them? Seriously, <laughs> I really can't believe you right now. Oh, come on. I mean, I thought being a lesbian was different enough. I can't keep up with all of these new relationship configurations. There's nothing new about it. People have been managing multiple relationships, marriages, families, sex buddies for a long time. Yeah, well, that just sounds like a lot to manage. I'm already working 60 hours a week. <laughs> Besides, if Isabel and I wanted a third person to sleep with, we'd just buy another toy off Babyland. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Izzy gets jealous. I can just see her now screaming anyone that I might potentially date just to make sure they were significantly less amazing than she is, and she'd still worry. It's just about being honest, communicating what your needs are, and not feeling like you own or are owned by anyone. I think these are things that you need in a marriage, even if you're monogamous. Yeah, well, I don't think Izzy would see it that way. So you think I'm supposed to just tell her that I can sleep with whomever I want, and she can't complain about it? I don't know, but you are supposed to tell her the truth. Tell her the truth about what you want. You know, I'm just sick and tired of having exhausting conversations about our relationship. You know, I love Isabel. I, I just, I want to keep things simple and make sure she's happy. I mean, then I'll be happy, right? I mean, that's the way my grandparents did it. Their parents said, you two are marrying each other. So they married each other, and they're all worked out. Well, I thought they cheated on each other, but you know that <laughs> like, I got past that eventually. I just I want a normal relationship. I can't deal with all these extra people. Like I don't have time as it is. Fine. Have your normal heteronormative vanilla relationship. I'm not heteronormative. Fine.
till far away, excruciating death, do you part. It looks tight in there. Oh, it's suffocating. <laughs> Come on, Isabel is going to be jealous no matter what. It's like her dominant personality trait. Let me hook you up. With who? I don't know. One of these women on one of these really mini apps that I just joined. I swiped right on a woman the other day that looked like your type. I don't have a type. And I'm not going to cheat on Isabel. Don't cheat. Tell the truth. You want to see other people. It doesn't mean you love her any less. Yeah, Isabel will not see it that way. Fine. <sighs> Let's see, Carly is an avid reader of historical fiction, and I know that's your jam. <laughs> <laughs> and I may have invited her over tonight. Did not. Maybe I did, maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> she is cute. You've been cuter in person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why are you throwing your... Oh. Oh. Hey, Devin. Hey, it's actually my phone. But that's okay. I spent a lot of money on a protective case. <laughs> you, know, you, I wasn't expecting you. You, you started me. You could have been a robber. Well, if I'm a robber, check the phone at me. Call 911. I uh, thought you were having a spa night at your mom's. What? Oh, yeah. It got canceled. <laughs> Cut short. Your boyfriend showed up. Boyfriend? On your special night? Yeah, at least she's getting late. Me, Isabel, that is so considerate of you. <laughs> to consider the sexual needs of somebody else? Oh, man, I'm sure your mom appreciates you being so open with her and, and your honesty. It's awesome. <laughs> as long as she isn't too honest. I know my mom has kids. I don't need to know any of her kinks. Your mama has kinks. Everyone has some kinky things they like. Well, what kinky things do you like? <laughs> oh, no comments in front of company, babe. What are you guys up to? Writing the vows? Uh, no. <laughs> Just a game night. Do you want tea? No. I have a bottle of wine I've been meaning to try. I can't decide if we just get imported or local. Serve that where? At the reception. Duh. <laughs> Smell what? Oh, 
You wouldn't. That is the smell of freedom, and you don't have it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.